So it is fun being picky and choosy when it comes to these non-tip orders to make sure you get the most beneficial tips. That's why I accepted an offer for $10 for 1.2 kilometers because that is less than a mile. So how can I refuse that? One was extra large pizza, one was a small pizza. The problem is, is that that extra large pizza took some time. Both of them were easy drop off at apartment complexes. Both of them, the gentlemen both met me at the door. So I wasn't so so finally uber eats is starting to be transparent with their drivers and it's about flipping time because i think many of us are not happy about getting those non-tipping customers so we got this message in our inbox here at least in montreal quebec within canada yesterday tip now in upfront delivery trip info starting today you'll see an upfront price that includes the estimated tip from the consumer this is based on what the consumer sets as the tip at the checkout Consumers have one hour after delivery to adjust the tip in app. Note that the upfront price does not account for any cash tips, not that there ever was, that consumers may give you. So for those that don't know, if you're located in the United States, for example, you guys already see this screen, which is the uh, including estimated tip, but we never did. We used to just see delivery. So tips were a blind game or a Russian roulette, you could say. Yesterday, I did the city of I went to the city of Montreal to go do some deliveries. I did four deliveries and in order of the best to the worst, I got a $3 tip, a $1 tip, $0 and $0. So we are getting a lot of non-tippers nowadays. I even read an article that 27% of tips overall, restaurants, food delivery services has gone down by 27%. So people are looking for the luxury of getting what they want without paying the additional tips. I can completely understand that, but this provides us more transparency so that we can avoid those hiccups. It's harder in the city because in the city I get nine or $10 offers for essentially just a little over one, one mile or for us it's 1.7 to about two kilometers. So it's really great offers. So it's hard to really tell if there's non-tippers, but yesterday I did get some non-tippers and I was right when it comes to Tim Hortons, when you do those orders, it's non-tip. I got no tip for my coffee orders yesterday. But today in the city uh, by 11 o'clock, so it's 1044 in the morning right now, in the city it's going to a 2.6 multiplier and here it's going to a 1.5 multiplier. Now I am online with Instacart because it's April 1st, although I'm sure I'm going to be somebody's April Fool's joke today, I know that there's a lot of people that are ordering some groceries. There were some really good offers that was offered earlier today when I was at home, but I was eating my breakfast and taking some time to myself. So we are going to go online with Uber Eats. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to go just down the street to the boulevard because there's a lot more restaurants there and see if this estimated tip is actually included in the deliveries. If we can get some good deliveries to start off with, then maybe I'll go to the city to get some additional offers because we know the payouts are good in the city, even though it ups up my anxiety and we can take it from there. So let's head along the boulevard and see about getting some orders. So I got to my hot zone that I wanted to be at. You can see, you've seen this before in previous videos. And as soon as I got here, I got this offer for Eggs Quiz. And Eggs Quiz is my favorite breakfast location. And it came in for $5.93 for just over two kilometers. So I accepted it. Dollars to kilometers is not too bad and it wasn't too far. Typically, I'm not a fan of going over the overpass, but because Eggs Quest is where my best friend works, I got to see her. So it's kind of two birds, one stone. But the included tip does work, so it helps me to avoid those non-tipping customers. I uh, did get to the customer's location. She seemed to have prior issues because she asked to knock on the door because last time she never got her order. So I did that. She got her order. I don't... No. There is a tip included in that, but $7 for 5 kilometers is a no-go for me. So I don't think she's gonna retract that tip. I really like this feature now because I just got an order pushed to me previously. It was for basically $3.29 for two kilometers for the customer for A&W. Now the base fare here is normally $3 and the promotion with the 1.4 multiplier makes it $3.29. So I knew that was a non-tipper and I automatically declined that order. 
I did get another order which was pretty nice but I didn't accept it because it's about a dollar fifty per kilometer which I'm not interested in or one mile I should say 1.6 kilometers is one mile my one mile mark is a dollar fifty minimum on a slow day and it's not gonna be a slow day it's Friday and it's April 1st so for $12 eight kilometers I refuse that order I like this this setup right now I like the expected you know delivery with the tip included because originally this was supposed to be 593 so it shows me that that first order was 393 which is what uber paid me and then the two dollars would be tacked on later but what i really like about it is if i decided to head over to the city we know we've seen before my base offers that i get in the city especially with a 2.6 multiplier is you know about ten dollars per order minimum depending where i'm going so I think with this new incentive of having the included tips, I'm going to be able to find those non-tippers a lot better and get a lot more beneficial pay. Because yesterday I got two non-tippers in the city of Montreal and one that only gave the $1 tip. Now, because the base fares are so beneficial when you're in the city of Montreal because of these promotions, I'm not really going to complain. But like anybody else, I want to make as much money as possible. So we will see today. I'm just going to stay here for a little bit longer. And if nothing comes in, I am going to head probably towards the city. I still prefer Instacart today, but that's not happening. So we shall see what more deliveries I receive. And so it is fun being picky and choosy when it comes to these non-tip orders to make sure you get the most beneficial tips. That's why I accepted an offer for $10 for 1.2 kilometers because that is less than a mile. So how can I refuse that? One was extra large pizza, one was a small pizza. The problem is that that extra large pizza took some time. Both of them were easy drop off at apartment complexes. Both of them, the gentlemen both met me at the door. So I wasn't filming too much inside the apartment complexes themselves. And now I'm done playing around with these South Shore orders because that was $10 for 1.2 kilometers for two customers and two tips included. So in the city of Montreal, I can get way more. So we got a 2.6x pay with a $2 peak pay. I'm hoping that's going to increase as I go along over there. It is 1213, so I better not waste any more time and get headed to the city. So guys, I'm feeling a little bit gypped and I'm not talking about those non-tip customers. I'm talking about the fact that I showed up to the city and it, I know I'm late to the game, but I mean, I've been here for at least 15 minutes with zero offers. Now it's down to $1.50 peak pay with the 2.6 multipliers, but nothing is coming in. Huh. Well, what I can do is I have two options. I could go home considering it is my day off today. I'm off Fridays and Saturdays. Or I can actually go some shopping around the city, considering the fact that I'm not getting any orders in. It only takes about five kilometers to get from the city from where I was at previously. But if there's no offers coming in, and for those that know, don't know, it's about three miles to get here, so it's not that bad. But um, you can see the screen, it's down to $1.50 peak pay. It was $2 when I was on my way here. I'm surprised, April 1st, a Friday afternoon, no orders coming in, but I mean, essentially it is what you get, I guess. Now the good part about today is on the South Shore, or the suburban area, I still made around $16, $17, which I, I know it's not the base that I want to be at, but considering what I have gotten previously, every single one of us Uber Eats drivers knows that sometimes we've made sometimes only $10 an hour, which is pure garbage, but it's happened. I mean, nobody can deny that. So I wouldn't call it a loss today because now I'm going to go shopping, I guess, in the city of Montreal because I wanted to get on and go shopping anyways. But I would have preferred some orders, but I'm literally sitting here talking to you guys and nothing's coming in. And I'm pretty sure that our 50 peak pay is going to be switched to a dollar. Maybe I should have stayed on the South Shore to do more deliveries, but who knows? Anyways, I am going to go shopping and enjoy the rest of my day. This was really fun to see the fact that they now have included tips in our orders here in Montreal, Quebec. And let me know where you are currently if you are in Canada as well. And if you have this included now when you're doing your deliveries. And I will catch you lovelies in the next video.